Hey, what's up squad? Today I'm actually going to show you how to do a serious makeup tutorial. Um, so let's just get right into it. We're not really going to have a palette of choice. Mostly the palettes that I like to use is this one, the Tartus Pro Glow, because your girl likes a good contour. So let me get my beauty, bl beauty blender wet and we will start there. Alrighty, hold on. Okay, first things first, we're gonna start off with our primer. I feel like such a beauty guru right now. It's the Golo Glam. A little bit of illuminator. Just kinda gets the skin going initially. Okay. I'll just rub that in. It smells like, like strawberries and pineapple. So it actually kind of feels like it's waking up my skin, if that makes any sense. But like it smells really good. My skin gets red really easy though, so. And I'm gonna, I like rub aggressively, so I'll just put it on. I'll give it a second to relax. Absorb into all of my ginormous pores. And then we will move on to foundation. For foundation, I don't use anything expensive. I just use the um, Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Effect. I don't use anything big and fancy, nothing like Urban Decay or anything like that. And then you just pat it on. It's really hard to do this in the viewfinder, so I am gonna use the mirror somewhat. We got a lot of foundation. work that all the way around. I really don't know how girls do their eye makeup first. I've tried doing my eye makeup first, but um, I've never had good luck on that because I always mess it up. Now, as you can see, this side is untouched with foundation and this side is touched. So we still have a little bit of face demon right here. We'll take care of that as soon as we get all of our foundation on. But what's that time? So how's everybody's day going? Hopefully it's going good. Another work week. Sometimes I feel like I should just sleep at my job because I just feel like I never go home. And we're just continuing to blend. Make sure you're not rubbing or smearing. That you are pat, like patting your face, beating your face for the gods, if you will. Um, the secret to I, it's better to dampen your beauty blender and just squeeze it out before, rather than use just a dry beauty blender because it helps to work that makeup in a little bit smoother with the water, that little bit of water. And we are all foundationed up. It looks nice. Now we are going to bust out the Bare Minerals Concealer. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yes. I've tried using a brush for this, but I just tend to like my finger better. It just, I don't know if it's the heat of it, that like w warms up the concealer almost and it makes it blend in a lot nicer. A um, little bit of dark circles under my eyes. We're not gonna go too crazy with concealer. Under my eyes, we're just gonna kind of pat them. Just to kind of, because I am almost 30 and I looked in the mirror the other day like when I just woke up and I was like, wow, I'm starting to look my age and I don't like it. Okay, so there is your base. Next, from here, you want to get some powder going. I just use, actually, I splurge on my powder because most of the times I don't even use foundation. I will just go with a powder, and this is the Cap on D in Light 49. And for my brushes, I like to use the Techniques brush. I really like these ones. You can just get those ones at Walmart. They're only like 10 bucks or so, but I actually think I got these from Christmas 
from um, my fiance's sister, Amanda. I think she got those for me. So just another trick with the powder is you want to bounce the powder on your face. You're not wanting to do like one of these motions, not with your setting, like this kind of powder. It um, goes into the pores, it fills up the cracks a lot better if you're, pa if you're patting it, you're not smearing it. If my hair does look blue, I dyed it blue, you can't really tell in this light, but we will be able to tell once we get to the finished look. Okay, so there we are with that. I do not do my eyebrows, I just take one of these little thingies and I dust off any foundation, any powder that might have gotten into my eyebrows. I just don't do my eyebrows. I don't, I just don't think that I need to. I have a pretty, pretty nice set of eyebrows, I think so, yeah. So we're going to use the nice and cheap, like, True Goldens by Revlon. As you can see, this is my palette of choice. I use this quite often because, to me, eyeshadow is eyeshadow. Like, I don't feel the need that you need to go and spend $50 on eyeshadow when the coverage, if you can find a good palette that has the nice coverage, then you're just wasting your money basically to splurge on that. So I'm going to do this golden color all across the lid, just kind of sets off green eyes nice and I really like golder palettes more so than anything else. I'm also going to hit it with a copper and we are going to go to the edges with that. A lot of people use brushes, you can use brushes, again, I like my finger because it's warm and it melts the product a lot better and it makes blending a lot easier. If you do tend to get a little, just go like do one of those on it and you're good. Let's check it. Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna actually take it a little bit into the crease a little bit I think today so we will be pulling out a brush for that. Now this isn't anything fancy either, this is just a wet and wild. We don't gotta go crazy, we don't gotta splurge on that kind of stuff. Splurging on other items, so just get it right into the crease. That's all you want to do. Yes. It just adds the divide of your lid and your actual eye socket. It makes your eye look deeper and it gives it more definition if you do do the crease right in here like that because if you don't do that crease then your eye it's just not going to look defined as much as it should or could so now we're just going to blend our lives away blend 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 and check the evenness we need a little bit more on this side blend 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 show I uh, turn myself so you guys can actually see what I'm doing perfect okay next step is going to be one of my personal favorites which is the eyeliner a lot of people ask me they're like I wish I could do my eyeliner like that blah blah, blah. but like honestly I just now started to learn how to do my eyeliner appropriately it took me forever it took me forever so for the bottom lids, we are going to splurge. This is a Marc Jacobs black eyeliner. I got this at Sephora. I tend to splurge a little bit on the things I like. So what you want to do is just pull down and just guide it right along that waterline. You can go in as deep as you want as far as towards the corner of your eye. I like to get in there. So I go pretty deep with the eyeliner take it here and with this eyeliner it literally stays on all day now we're gonna use the liquid eyeliner for the top this is where it gets tricky guys don't panic just close your eye take your time oh this is gonna be it's gonna be real hard in the viewfinder. I'm not even gonna pretend like this is not gonna be hard. Okay, I'm coming in. I don't know if I can do this in the viewfinder. Time out. There is the eye actually lined. I do more of a thinner line with it. So let's do the other one. Eyeliner. 
eyeliner is not yet anything expensive either. I just use e.l.f. because I like it. I like the e.l.f. Okay. Other eye is complete as well. I think we are going to do the wings today, so I'm going to try to show you in the viewfinder how to do a perfect wing because I get asked that quite often. What you want to do is start at the bottom of your eye, take it up, and then close your eye and guide it right down. And you guys couldn't see anything I was doing. Anyway, so there's your outline for your wing. Now the easy part is to just fill it in. You will be able to see me do the actual wing on this eye though because it's a better angle. Sorry, I'm not like a beauty guru pro yet at this point, so yeah. That eye is done. Now we're gonna go in with the other one. I'm starting to run out of this e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. I'm gonna have to splurge on my $2.99 eyeliner though. Get that going. Okie doke. So, for this eye, you take it, you follow up your bottom liner, take a couple swipes, don't try to do it all in one. Okay? So that's the line you want to see. Now, to top it, take your hand, guide it on the actual point of your eyeball, and follow it down. Okay? Now, the easy part, all you have to do now is simply fill it in. Sounds easy enough, right? If you want it thicker at this point, you can thicken it. You can add a little bit more of a tail make sure the curves, you're keeping the curves smooth. Okay? Another thing that I've really liked to do lately is it's more of like an Egyptian eyelid. So I like to really get into the corners. I'll show you what those look like. Ow. So there is the eyes completely finished. What I did was I took the eyeliner into this corner, into this corner here, as you can see, as you can see in there. That's where the magic happens. It's where the magic happens. Next is, of course, the all-important mascara because that's just the thing right there is the mascara. Never take your mascara and go like this because you are pumping air into your tube and you will dry your mascara out 20 times faster than if you just take it and you roll it in there. So don't pump your mascara. That is the beauty tip of the day. This is the eyes that I like to call the Egyptian eyes because they, excuse me, they remind me of like an Egyptian because they're like a freaking extreme cat eye and I love it. Yes, yes! Sorry, I got hype. Next is my favorite part of makeup, which is highlighting and contouring. Now that Zach is in here to ruin all of my highlighting and contouring brushes. First, we are going to contour the nose because nobody likes a big nose. So let's just trim this nose down. We're going to make our noses look smaller. Start at the top, go in towards a arrow motion at the point. Do the same motion on the other side. Start at the top, working your way into a point. I'm Lebanese, so I already have a big nose and look at the difference. Okay? It's all about the illusion. It's all about the illusion. Next, we're going to contour our cheeks. Look at my cheeks now. Straight on. Maybe straight on. Straight on. Got it? Now watch after I contour. 
This literally melts about five pounds of weight off of your face instantly. Like, if, you, if a female has never contoured and seen the difference, girl, you ain't living. You are not living. You are not slaying. You don't even know what direction your life is going. Just aggressively get that contour in. Now, straight on. Look how much thinner my face looks. Who needs to go to the gym when you can just put makeup on? Add a little bit more. Next, you want to hit up here because everybody likes a little bit of temple accent. And next, we're going to take it up around our foreheads just to kind of make our foreheads look a little bit smaller so the light isn't like gleaming off of them. So we're going to trim our foreheads down. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Next we're going to hit with a highlight. I'm going to do a darker bronzier highlight today. So we're just going to highlight them cheekbones. You guys know what we say, we highlight for the gods around here. We highlight for the gods. This will also help blend in through your contour. Uh, like a strobe is actually what this shade is called and hit the brow bones up here now that we're finishing off. Gives a nice accent up there. Some people also like to take and do the bridge of their nose just to accent that. Some people also hit the Cupid's bow. That's a J-Lo chick right there because J-Lo does that. J-Lo hits her Cupid's bow. Like that. Do a little bit on the chin. Chisel it out. Chisel the jawline a little bit. Okay, so basically I'm going to finish my hair now and I will show you the complete product after I finish my hair because that's going to take a minute. Okay, bye! See you in a minute! Bye. If none of you guys have found this yet, you're not living. It is called Verb Ghost Oil. It will change your life. It literally adds so much shine to your hair. Just don't overdo it, otherwise you're going to look like a grease ball that hasn't showered in days. I mostly just hit the ends of my hair with it and then call it a day. But we are all done. We're ready to go to work. Super. So I'm going to edit this video, then I'm going to go to work just to show you guys something kind of fun. I did dye my hair blue, which you can't tell. Let's go to some different lighting. Maybe you'll be able to tell better. Not really working. Not really working. Okay, well that is it. That is a serious makeup tutorial for you guys today. Just to give you guys a little bit of something of what I do as far as makeup goes on the daily. Well, I don't wear makeup on the daily, but whenever I do have to go to work and be presentable in public, that is pretty much my makeup routine in its, in its entirety. Um, I haven't posted for a couple weeks. I've just had a lot going on. I was kind of stressed out, so... I am back. I will be putting out some new footage. I have a little bit of secret surprise footage that was mailed to me from my brother. So stay tuned for that. That should be exciting. And I will catch y'all later. Bye!